Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we've got a subscriber request for you. The name is Equestive Therapeutics. This company has been on an absolute tear over the last couple of months. They've already got products in market. We've got a lot to go through, but before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not currently subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of Equestive, what your thoughts are on the therapeutic sector in general, and your outlook for the back half of 2023. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be covering a quest of Therapeutics Incorporated trades on the NASDAQ in the US under the ticker AQST. Now, as you can see, we had a major downward move during today's session. This is as of close on Friday, May 12th. The company was down about 52 cents or about 21% on the trading session. You can see they've made up a portion of that in after hours. However, a pretty dismal day for anyone who's currently holding shares. Now, I know this was a subscriber request. I was actually talking to a few of these subscribers who said they were averaging down today in the neighborhood of about $1.80. So that's definitely a nice strategy. And if you do look at the bigger picture here, the six month graph, you can see really an incredible run since the middle of March of this year where they were trading in the 70 cent range all the way up to a high at the start of May, so May 11th of $2.49. So we've got a lot to talk about in today's video and I'm really excited to get into this one. Okay, so with that being said, I wanted to jump over to the corporate website. I'll leave a link in the video description below, aquestive.com, and take a look at what this company is all about. So as an intro here, you guys, their quest or mission at this organization is to advance medicines and solve therapeutic problems that's going to, in turn, improve patient lives. So they've got 18 years in the industry, over 2 billion doses and counting. This company, unlike a lot of the others that we've covered recently on the channel, already has their products approved and in stores around the world. So they're already contributing to the treatment and recovery of thousands and thousands of patients. Their pipeline of medicines aims to overcome barriers that patients face with existing treatment options. So really a lack of options and lack of positive outcomes that has created this opportunity for companies like Equestive providing new paradigms for treating critical and complex conditions as we're gonna look at a little bit later in the presentation. Now, if we jump over to the about us section, I love this line here, complex delivery simplified. And that's really what I try and do in a lot of these videos. These are cutting edge technology companies that are really innovating in the medical field. A lot of times the delivery methods, the products themselves and the R&D are extremely complex. But at the end of the day, the mission is simple to improve patient lives with these products, technologies and platforms that are being developed by these therapeutic companies. So with that being said, Equestive Therapeutics is a pharmaceutical company aiming to solve patient problems by advancing current standards of care through simplifying complex delivery methods. Equestive is developing orally administered products to provide novel alternatives to invasive and inconvenient standard of care therapies. Again, which we're gonna look at examples of these next up. Equestive is advancing a late stage proprietary product pipeline focused on treating diseases of the central nervous system or the CNS and earlier stage pipeline for the treatment of severe allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis. Now we're gonna spend some time on their drug development pipeline and the current products or platforms that they have in market. But the key here is this expanding portfolio. And this is why I feel we've seen such a rally in the share price of Equestive over the last few months, because they're continuing to advance and bring new products to market. Plus they've already got that proven history or track record in the space. So Equestive Therapeutics is the undisputed leader in developing and delivering medications via film through their PharmaFilm technology. So again, focused on the delivery method of a lot of these medications. Building on this success, they've established a robust portfolio of transformative, simplified products, again, centered in improving patient lives. And we're gonna take a look at this pipeline in a couple of slides here as we move into the investor presentation. 
Now this slide here really builds on something I mentioned on the last, the proven track record of success. So this is one of their three key strategic priorities. This is a technology-based pharmaceutical company. They've already got five FDA approved products in market, which I alluded to earlier. 10 plus years of product sales on six continents. We're actually gonna look at the different countries and continents in which a quest of therapeutics operates in a second and over 200 patents worldwide, including 23 filed patents covering their AQST epinephrine or sublingual film, which we're gonna look at as one of these up and coming developments. Now the middle section here talks about the potential for these two major products or catalysts being launched within the next few years here. So they're currently targeting a range between 2025 and 2027 for the two new product launches. And these products are known as AQST 109, which is that oral delivery product for the treatment of severe allergies or allergic reactions, including anaphylactic shock. This one's anticipated in 2025 or sooner. So this one's in the near term compared to the second. And they've also received tentative approval for their Librevand, which is anticipated to launch in 2027. So in combination with their proven track record, these upcoming product launches or catalysts, plus their third pillar here, which is a focus on completing a financial turnaround in 2023, I think the investment community is definitely starting to take notice and really starting to buy in or believe what management has been saying for a few quarters here in terms of this turnaround story. And that really breaks down into three things. So focusing on their deal-making capabilities, prioritizing the potential reduction in debt or refinancing their existing debt and refreshing their next generation pipeline of opportunities, which we just talked about. So this is that slide talking about their product portfolio or product pipeline. You can see the ones we just talked about, which are still in the development pipeline being the Librevant. So this is focused on seizure clusters and the anaphylactic or severe allergy response platform, which is the AQST 109 epinephrine focused on that sublingual film delivery. And then they've also got their AQST 108 platform or formulation, again, focused on epinephrine. So that one's in preclinical phase. The AQST 109 is in their clinical phase and the Librevant or seizure cluster solution is currently in their filed patent state. Now below you can see some of their partnering opportunities for these various different technologies or platforms, their regional licensing agreements really reaching across the globe. So from the EU to Brazil, China, and the United States, they've got global licensing agreements already in place for their Suboxin, their Endeavor, and their Simpazin oral film. And then a royalty only IP license model for their Synovian, Kinmobi, Chemfarm, and their AZ Starzies. So again, a number of products that are already being distributed and sold around the world, plus a really exciting pipeline that's gonna to continue to push this company's portfolio for years and years to come. And this is another view here that shows these product licenses in the six different continents. So you can see North America, South America, Europe, the Asia Pacific region, and Australia between the various different products or solutions within their portfolio. Now where I wanted to spend a bit of additional time is on these two upcoming transformative launches. So again, this is the epinephrine AQST 109, which is delivered through that sublingual film or under the tongue. This is looking to treat severe allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis shock. So really instead of an EpiPen, which obviously is a big discomfort and inconvenient to carry around, they think this could be an addressable market in the neighborhood of about a billion dollars and they're anticipating to file their NDA in the middle of next year or 2024. Now their Librevant buccal film is indicated for the treatment of seizure clusters in patients age 12 and older with epilepsy. This one's been tentatively approved by the FDA and has a potential peak sales in the neighborhood of about $200 million. So when you think about this company's current market cap, it's easy to see why investors are so bullish on this ticker because when you look at the TAM or total addressable market, for just a handful of these technologies or platforms, it really does start to make a lot of sense by the numbers, considering they've already got that proven track record of bringing these products to market and successfully navigating through the product development pipeline. 
So I wanted to double click on this anaphylaxis market opportunity in a little bit more detail. Currently there's close to 32 million people in the United States alone that are at chronic risk for acute anaphylactic episodes. This means that the projections in terms of direct costs associated with this condition have been estimated to be around $1.2 billion per year. So over a billion dollar opportunity here with 52% of patients nationwide previously experiencing anaphylaxis, but have never received an epinephrine auto injector prescription. So over half of the patients or around 16 million people in the United States do not have a prescription or carry an EpiPen, but have a risk of severe anaphylaxis based on their current underlying conditions. So this is why earlier in the presentation, we said the status quo or the existing delivery methods for this treatment really aren't meeting the mark and a lot of people are still left at risk. Now that's where Equestive comes into the situation and offers this epinephrine in this new delivery method. And you can see in contrast to the existing EpiPen solution, this really gives people the opportunity to be in the right place at the right time because their oral delivery is a lot easier to carry and administer than the traditional EpiPen solution. There's no needle involved, so you don't have to worry about the 25 to 50% of patients that refuse treatment due to the needle reluctance. That also improves the turnaround time or the time to treat because you're not going to have patients that are nervous or concerned about that needle. And it solves solutions around administering the correct dose or ensuring that patients have the proper volume of this medication to treat the anaphylactic condition that they're currently going through. So that's just one example of how Equestive Therapeutics is redefining customer choice or patient choice in this industry and really reimagining how people with these conditions can go about treating and living a regular life based on some of these novel delivery methods. So shifting gears a little bit, I now wanted to talk about the 2023 outlook or guidance. So this is more from a financial standpoint. You can see they're targeting revenues in the neighborhood of about 37 to $41 million. So again, very healthy considering the size of this company. And they're expecting a non-GAAP adjusted EBITDA loss of approximately 31 to $36 million for the calendar year. So although this company is growing, they've got a number of catalysts and product launches on the horizon in the next few years. It is worth noting that they're still expecting to lose money in 2023. And that's really a byproduct or result of the investment they're making in this financial turnaround story. And with that, I wanted to leave you with this slide here that talks about some of the keys to success in 2023. Again, broken down into three key components. So leveraging their existing track record, all the existing R&D, their IP portfolio and patent portfolio that's already in place, executing on the key milestones or product launches on the horizon. So the AQST 109 epinephrine sublingual film, which we just talked about, and that Librivent buccal film focused on those repeat seizure clusters. And then finally, delivering on cash generating opportunities. So cash flow positive manufacturing business, structuring their business and capital options so that they can support the commercial operations and pipeline of their drug development and building potential additional license collaborations as we saw earlier in the presentation with companies around the globe to really ensure that these products are being delivered to patients who need to find a new solution. So with that being said, you guys, I'd be super interested to hear your thoughts on Equestive. I know this has been requested a number of times on the channel. This is definitely a fan favorite or one that a lot of subscribers are interested in knowing a little bit more about. Let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of Equestive, what your thoughts are on this sector and how this company stacks up to some of their competitors. If you're still watching at this point, make sure you hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. And if you're not currently subscribed, McNally money, feel free to join. We'd love to have you as part of the community. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.